Hey everybody, Sister Fantastic here, and today's video is going to be an empties video. I got this box of stuff that I've used up, and I wanted to share these things with you and, and let you know if I would repurchase them or not, and, uh, and that way I can throw the empty carton away or whatever. Okay, so let's just get right into this. And the first thing I have is some cleansing tissues from Dezo Japan. These were nice. They were uh, real nice. Uh, I enjoyed using them. Uh, you have to buy these in the bulk. And so you have to get like 12 packages at a time. And so I'm not sure if I would buy these, you know, because that's a lot to buy at one time. If I was giving them away or using them as gifts or something, I might consider that type of a wholesale purchase. But the quality's there. So, I mean, if you're interested, Dezo Japan. All right, um, I emptied a bottle of nail polish remover, and this is just the regular nail polish remover that you buy at uh, the Dollar Tree, so one dollar. All right, so I use that. I buy that all the time. Uh, this is a face primer from Santee. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Santee Face Primer Magic Perfecting. Uh, this expired. I did not use it all. Uh, it has a 24 month shelf life, but it expired. And uh, I could tell, you can tell when this expires because it, uh, the smell, it goes bad. So anyway, uh, this is something I would purchase again. It's a hydrating face primer and it's on the Shop Miss A website for only a dollar. All right. This right here is the or Oribe Gold Lust Dry Shampoo. It's a sample that I received in an Ipsy bag. And uh, the contents are uh, for, it's made for blonde haired people. And so the dust is like a gold colored dust. It blends in with blonde hair. And so anyhow, um, I got about three uses out of this little sample here. And um, I normally don't buy dry shampoo because by the time my hair gets oily, enough to use dry shampoo I'm ready to wash it so um, but as far as uh, I didn't see anything really super special about this but I'm not a dry shampoo connoisseur so I you know I really can't give you any good advice on this I mean it's kind of a meh for me you know what I mean take it or leave it all right um, I emptied out the forever Elizabeth by Elizabeth Taylor it's a perfumed um, body lotion and so anyhow I emptied this out and I like this I, it was a gift set that I purchased for myself it came with a little sample of perfume and um, a thing of powder and then the lotion so anyway that was a nice little gift set I've had it for a while and so I finally used it up so that is something I would definitely get again if the opportunity presented itself. This is the Clean Color Brow Pomade that I got off the Shop Miss A website. And I'm not really a pomade kind of a person, but I thought, well, I would try it. But I didn't have it hardly any time at all, and it dried out. And so I tried adding some things to it so that I could use it, but then it was just like so much of a hassle. I was like, what am I doing this for? I have so many brow products that I can use that are so much better than this. So anyway, I'm throwing this away. Um, don't waste your money. That's a dollar I wouldn't spend right there. All right. Let's see what else. This is the Creme Le Miracle Snake Venom Peptide Cream. And I bought this off the internet. There was a um, an advertisement. And I went ahead and I bought this and I bought another cream at, together at the same time. And I got them. That if they, The deal was if you try the creams uh, for free and you like them, then, you know, you could they could put you like on this um, automatic shipping to receive it like every month or whatever. And uh, so anyhow, I like the cream. I like the cream really well, but... What happened was, is they ripped me off. And so they tried to charge me more than 
they tried to charge me for the products uh, out of my uh, checking account. So the deal was you just pay the shipping and then they send you the products for free and then you're supposed to let them know within 30 days whether or not you liked it. But anyway, they, they charged me right off the bat. And so it made me mad. And so um, I called them and I told them about it and I you know, got everything fixed up with my bank and all of that. And uh, it was a hassle, it was a hassle. And I just told them, I said, you know, I don't want this, I don't want this product. I don't want you to put me on auto ship. I do, you know, you're, you, you lied to me and that's an integrity issue and I can't, I can't trust the company now because of that. And they were like, well, why don't you return the product? Well, I had already been using the product. That was crazy. I was like, no, I'm not doing that because you advertised that I would receive the first uh, tr trial portion of, of the cream for free. And I'm keeping it. So, anyway, I kept it, but I'm not doing business with them again. And they were doing business under the... Um, the name of Lemire, Lemire, something like that. Anyway, so do not, do not do, do not do business with them. The cream is good, but don't do business with them. What a rip off, huh? Made me mad. Takes. I don't get mad very often, but I don't like to be stolen from. Uh, here's a sample of the Viva La Juicy Couture. And I made an Ulta purchase, and I got some, like, perfume samples for free. And I used this up, like, right away. And this stuff is, like, I can still smell a little bit the scent, you know, from the nozzle. But this stuff is amazing. I wish I had the perfume spray, the large one. So this is something I would definitely buy again, the Viva Le Juicy. So very, very nice. It's, um... It's soft. It's got a uh, vanilla, and you can, um, there's some kind of fruity, and you can smell jasmine in there, too. It's just awesome. It's awesome. So, anyway, I liked it a lot. Here's a, something else I liked a lot from Andalou Naturals, uh, the Argon Stem Cell Recovery Cream. It's a single use, just a little sample. But y'all know how I feel about Andalou Naturals and organic creams. And, of course, these are um, the fruit stem cell science, non-GMOs, you know. So you could use this day or night. And I used it sparingly so I could, you know, make it last a week or whatever. But anyway, I love this stuff. Love, love, love this company. Love this brand. Uh, they do, you know, they acknowledge me on Instagram when I when I tag them on my posts and they, you know, even forward my pictures to their um, Instagram page. And so, they're awesome, you know. So, anyway, I highly recommend, highly recommend this as well. Okay. Here's something else from, from them. I used up the Illuminating Toner, the Vitamin C, Clementine Plus Vitamin C Illuminating Toner. It's a brightening toner. From Andalou Naturals, I used all of that, and so I would definitely get that again. Here's another toner that I used. It was a little sample from Ipsy uh, from Sun and Park. It's called Beauty Water, and it's a, um, a facial toner, which is real gentle and um, moisturizing. It's not a clarifying toner, but it is a cleansing. Helps exfoliate, and it's a uh, real... Um, got some really nice ingredients in it. It's made from plant extracts and so forth. So this was perfect for me um, for the harsh winter month. Of um, I used it like I finished it yesterday, but I used it like through the month of January and February or some some more running right through there, and it was like the harshest part of the winter, which you know that's when my skin's the driest, and I really don't enjoy using a clarifying toner as much during that uh, time of the year. So this was perfect. I enjoyed using it very, very much. Okay. Uh, the Morphe Lashes. Let's see. These are the Rodeos. Well, you can't really see. Let me pull out a package to show you what they look like. Anyway, I used up that one package of lashes, but here's another one. 
So anyway, I bought these off the Morphe website, and of course, you know how they uh, Morphe does. You know, you have to make a decent purchase to get free shipping. And um, so, I, when I bought the Jaclyn Hill palette, I bought um, another palette, and I got a few sets of lashes. So I used up that set of lashes, and these are called Rodeo. I would definitely buy those again. I like them. I got the whole like not spidery, but there's like you know you can they separate and i like that makes your eyes look really bright and light eyed here's something i really loved oh my gosh i really love this i want to buy this for sure this is the green tea watery cream by tony moly oh my gosh i love 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 this stuff and so anyhow it's a moisturizer and it's rich and it's not greasy but it's very moisturizing very hydrating it smells awesome i just love the formula um i definitely want to go and try some more tony moly products so the only thing that i've really used from their company is this little sample and then i had a um a lip mask or an eye mask or something i forgot now i think it was an eye mask now that i think about it so anyhow um at ulta i guess is where i'd have to go to get this so anyway, definitely get that. The Mint Pear See Your Youth Vitamin C Serum. This was a sample I got in Ipsy. Love this. Would repurchase that for sure. Here's the e.l.f. Um, setting powder for its translucent sheer setting powder for the under eyes. Amazing. Amazing stuff. I would definitely buy some more of that. Um, here is a sample of the Too Faced uh, Hangover RX um, silicone free, alcohol free, oil free. It's a three in one spray. You can use it for primer or setting spray or revitalizing. I liked it as a primer. It has like a sticky, there's like a stickiness to it and so to me that's amazing for helping the foundation to you know stick to your face so I would I would repurchase this for as a primer this is a little sample of the Urban Decay anti-aging eyeshadow primer long-lasting eyeshadow in the color nude so it color corrects and blurs flaws and it's anti-aging and so anyway I used all of it and uh, this was this was good I mean you know I have other things that are a lot cheaper um, that I you know I would probably lean more towards purchasing them than I would going back to this so I would you know but it's up to you you know whatever you want to do so but my personal preference is you know the more affordable items I like it when it's affordable all right, here is the Sassy and, Sh and Chic BB Beauty Cream. And I got this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And it's white. It's like a white color. And uh, so, but it, it's perfect for blending with a foundation. Um, or you could use it, you know, as a moisturizer underneath your foundation. Either one. So it works good. And I liked it. Not my favorite BB cream, but I like to, and I would, and I already have repurchased it. I have another one right now. So, okay, the Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. This is in the color black, and I love this mascara. It's not waterproof brand uh, formula, but you know, if I could lay my hands on the on the waterproof I would I would get it and I'd like to try it so th this is one that I would definitely repurchase the Tarte Maracuja oil here's a little sample that I used up and I have already replaced that this is amazing amazing stuff love 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 I've ranted and raved about this several times on my channel so anyway I will just quickly just let you know I love it and put that container in the trash. Here is a nub of an eyebrow pencil from the uh, Wet n Wild Color Icon. Um, and this was like a blonde, I don't even know the color of it. Let me see. 
I don't even think I can see it here. Yeah, I've already like sharpened it so much that the color the it's off the label. But anyway, I really didn't care for this. I just used it up just for the sake of using it. It's too light. I wasn't satisfied. It had kind of like a greenish tint to it. So um, I like Wet n Wild, but I like um, I like the other color better. It's called that I'm using right now. It's called uh, Taupe. Yeah, I think that's what this is. Yeah, taupe. So, but anyway, I've almost used all of it. But anyway, don't don't fear. I have another Wet n Wild sitting over here just waiting on me. There, I got those at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. All right, this is the Elizabeth Mott Pop Goes the Shadow uh, in Gunmetal. So, it's a little sample I received from Ipsy. And um, I'm still enjoying it. I pulled it out of this container and I put it in my Z palette. I haven't used it up completely, so it really doesn't technically go into this empties, even though this thing right here is empty. But anyway, I wanted to let you know I do like it and I would repurchase it because it is a very unique color. It's hard to find. I mean, it's not a silver, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it technically is like a gunmetal. So it's it's really quite unique. All right, and then this is the clean color eyebrow pencil. It's a retractable eyebrow pencil in the color medium brown, and it has the uh, brush at the end of it. They've discontinued these, which I could just cry my eyes out over it because I love this eyebrow pencil. But I've been trying some others, and and I like and I have some others that I that I'm enjoying using right now. So it's easier for me to. You know let this let this go now I mean it's gone but I was hanging on to the package and hoping you know to remind me um, to repurchase this but every time I get on the shop miss a website it's it's not there so I think that they just discontinued it all right one more thing here this is the Josie Marin whipped argon oil face butter little sample here and I really enjoyed this so it's 100% uh, made with 100% pure argon oil and this was ultra hydrating it was really light it did not make my skin feel greasy or any kind of um, heaviness at all it just absorbed right in it was wonderful and so if um, you're looking for a good moisturizer and you like this brand I would highly recommend this I have some other moisturizers that I'm trying to use up right now uh, so I will not be repurchasing this uh, at this time this is you know one of many you know but I did like it so anyway those are my empties a lot of samples let me just set that over there a lot of samples um, you know when you when you're on subscriptions uh, like Ipsy, you know, they know that I like skincare, and so you know, I receive something almost every time, and um, it just takes a while to use them up. Anyway, I haven't done the empties probably in about six months, so and I'm pretty sure I've used up more stuff than what was in that box. I just sometimes you throw things away and you forget, you know, that you're collecting stuff to you know to share. So, anyhow, that is it for today's video. Hope you all have a blessed day. I love you and I appreciate your support. Make sure and click subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.